Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a weekly reading for my fellow water sign Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are always welcome, but please keep in mind that these are general messages. They may not resonate with everyone. So take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else. This is for the week of January 21st through the 27th, or whenever you come across this message, Scorpio, there are no coincidences. This message is meant for you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I do run two contests each month. One is on my Instagram channel, it starts with Stasi, and one is under the community tab on YouTube. Both are an opportunity for my followers and subscribers to win a free half hour reading. So enter and it could be you, all right? I'm very excited. I love giving away readings. So I do give two away each month. It's my chance to give back to the Starsea community. You guys are so good to me and I'm very appreciative. As far as my members and returning subscribers, Thank you. I am so grateful for your continued shares, likes, supports, subscribes, notifications, comments, all of it. You're really, really making a difference in my life and I'm grateful. All right, guys, without further ado, let me tap into my spirit guides, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Please give us the highest and best messages for this week. All right. Guys, we've got a lot of cosmic energy out there, depending on when you're watching this, because it is being recorded on the 15th of January. We are entering into Aquarius season on January 20th. We also have Pluto going into Aquarius on the 20th or 21st, depending on where you live, and a full moon in Leo on the 25th. So here we've got number 43, overflow, overwhelm and plenty. Lots of energy with this full moon in Leo. You are going to be feeling inspired to do all of the things that you had thought about all month. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Comment below. I have been drained ever since that, that new moon in Capricorn. So I feel definitely like this energy is starting to come back. Um, I've got Fortune's Wheel, Luck and Right Timing, number 23. We are entering a very exciting time with Pluto and Aquarius. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm very, very excited about all of the tools that are going to be revealed to us. I, I'm a little hesitant about some of the truths that will be revealed to us. However, it is a necessary change. The number five, right, signifies change. It's a necessary disruption for the collective to get the power back. And that is what you're going to be seeing by 2026. There's going to be a large movement for the collective to get back their power. And I think that this is an amazing time to be alive, Scorpio. Honestly, it really is. We've got Root Girl, the disowned self, number 46, reducing to the number 10. New beginnings for you, Scorpio, with limitless possibilities, right? There's a side of you that you need to come to terms with. You need to think about the energetic relationship that you have with money, the energetic relationship you have with relationships. What does it look like to you? What does it mean to you as you are already now at this point past the first month or just about past the first month of 2024? right? Have you allowed yourself to do something different, to meet someone new, to be a little bit vulnerable? Did it hurt? Are you okay? You know, things happened very quickly this month. There were upsets where you didn't expect them. And there were, you know, um, relationships made where you didn't expect them. And so I feel that this week is going to bring a lot of refinement to whatever it is that you've been experiencing. So I hope that made sense, but I do feel that there are necessary disruptions happening between last week and this week. And that is because we are entering into this new phase where what resonates with you is what you will take forward. So, All right, I'm going to do nine cards, and then I will clarify those cards for you, Scorpio. I hope everyone's having an amazing 2024. Don't forget to ask yourself, Scorpio, why are you so wealthy? Why are you so healthy? And why does everything always happen in your favor? We're back to luck and right timing, right? This is fortune wheel, fortune's wheel in the major arcana. It's about being at the right place at the right time and 
oh, what is this? Page of Swords, right? Let's see. Page of Swords, Scorpio, we've got Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. Some of you really have got to switch your perspective and stop living in the past, especially if recently you've had something maybe go differently than you had expected. Maybe you didn't have that uh, the date you thought you were going to have, or maybe you didn't have that conversation go the way you had expected. But I feel honestly that it's time to let go of expectations of others and also let go of old beliefs and how things should work. We've got the three of wands. You have your eyes set on something moving ahead, the emperor and the two of cups. This has come up in the last couple of weeks. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries when it comes to soulmate energy. You may be starting a business with your soulmate, with your partner. Um, but there is this possibility as well that some of you are going to be moving towards having a more um, grounded and defined relationship if clarify um what's the word i'm looking for so like i said most of you will be having this um moment of refinement within your relationships right so you could be sitting down with your partner and saying hey you know this is what i'm looking for in 2024 right i need more balance or i need more um, attention and that's okay to ask for that right because a lot of times scorpios we tend to seclude ourselves and we tend to kind of hide in the shadows and this is the year where we're not going to do that anymore so it's okay if you need to ask your partner for more because this year you deserve it you've deserved it every year scorpio but this is the year that you feel worthy of asking for your needs and i love that we've got the hanged man coming in and this is actually reads the hanged one which i love the stick and then we've got the seven of wands and the nine of cups scorpio i really feel that no matter what kind of partnerships you have going on right now, you feel complete regardless of what happens. You're taking a new approach to your relationships and you're setting boundaries and letting people know that, you know, you need to meet me where, where I am. And if you can't do that, then we don't even need to have the conversation. So there's that kind of vibe from you, Scorpio. You're very focused on your business. You're very focused on your household. And I do see that there is a little bit of regret here coming through for maybe something that didn't work out or a conversation where maybe your words were a little sharp or your perception might have been um, clouded, for example. So something to consider as you were, you know, thinking about this situation, the universe is really protecting you so that you can have the energy and you can have the stability to handle this new ace of cups that's coming in for you. I feel like a lot of you are going to put down some heaviness related to um, your relationships. I mean, this keeps coming up for Scorpio. Three of wands. There might be some travel ahead for some of you as well. Spirit wants me to use the same deck to clarify. So the Page of Swords is being clarified by the Nine of Wands, Two of Swords. All right, Scorpio, that's interesting. There might be a situation where you're feeling kind of exhausted and you're feeling like you don't, maybe a confrontation. It, it almost feels like you might be avoiding it, to be honest with you, Scorpio. And normally Scorpios are one to kind of hash things out pretty quickly, but this is coming across like, you're looking to have different experiences in your relationships with everyone, right? With your friends, with your kids, with your lovers, with your managers or with your employees, whatever it looks like. And I feel like in the past, your words may have been pretty sharp. Your perception may have been um, cut short by past experiences. And this year you've been prepping yourself and saying, okay, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna give people more grace. I'm going to allow myself more kindness, not be so heavy on myself or so hard on myself. But <clears throat> I feel strongly that the, you're actually avoiding a heavy conversation. So again, this isn't going to resonate with everyone, Scorpio, and the energies could be switched. Maybe someone's avoiding a tough conversation with you. But it's almost like the reason for this is to give pause to look for a different solution because there's exhaustion with you. Like you don't want to relive a loop is the best way I can put it. Like you don't wanna have the same 
outcome you've had in your past relationships come up again. So as you are getting involved in this new job or getting involved in this new relationship, a partnership, whatever it is, I feel like you are taking pause. With this Four of Cups, this is clarified by the Queen of Wands. And, you know, I, I feel like, I don't know, Scorpio, you're kind of contemplating your options, right? And I feel like you are attracting a lot of, um, oh, one second. Here we go. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra. This is Libra energy. Um, also, this could be actual karma, fairness, justice, resolution in a situation because there, there's been some heaviness here that has to come to a close. And I feel, Scorpio, that that's going to happen for you this week, right? There's an opportunity to do something over, to, to re-enliven something if that's what you want. So we've got the Queen of Wands and clarifying the Four of Cups. You really can have it all, Scorpio, but you've got to put your energy and your time into, into what's available, not the past. Because the past isn't serving you. It isn't serving you any longer. And this is what that is. That Four of Cups can be that Sour Grapes energy. If something didn't work out the way you had expected it to, there's better and brighter ahead. You might need to redefine and rediscuss, right? That contract with um, the new employer or that relationship boundaries with that new person or even in your existing boundaries or relationship. Um, some of you are definitely having closure when it comes to a legal situation. That's another thing that's coming through. I feel that this week you were, one second, this week you're going to hear something over, um, over a court case because that is coming through for some of you. I feel this is coming through as like mediation instead of it going to court. So take that for what it's worth. Um, but that's, that's happening as well. There is, um, over this last month, there has been a buildup to contractual um, situations, divorces, inheritances, properties, all of those things. So I feel like if you've been dealing with a situation that's been a little sticky, there is more likely an arbitration that's going to resolve the matter versus an actual court hearing. So take that as it resonates. Um, some of you, this is also very specific, but I've got to say it's coming through um, oh, as the strength card is sitting here. So one moment. Some of you are also, as you are disentangling from an old employer or maybe having some human resource issues. Um, I'm not sure if every country has that. So whatever department handles the employee situations. One moment. I'm sensing that some of you are going to be having like um, an exit interview or um, something like that. But I see human resources as um, in, in happening for you this week. More of a resolution and putting down some, like getting things off your chest. Give me one moment. I've got the strength card over here. So I'm going to put this as one of the clarifiers for the three of wands. With that new moon, or I'm sorry, that full moon in Leo on the 25th, and I have the Leo energy here, and I've got the three of wands here. There's a lot of inspiration, a lot of focus, a lot of drive. That two of wands is different than the three of wands because the two of wands, you know, you're starting to have the idea. You got a lot of ideas in your head, but now with the three of wands, you're really focused and it's not easy, right? You're going to have to kind of face your demons you know, the ones that tell you that you can't do it, that you don't have the right to do it, you don't have enough knowledge to do it, you won't be good enough, you don't deserve love, the argument was your fault, all those things. I feel like there's a lot of focus being put on, you know what, I can't do anything about the past. I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I'm going to focus my sights on what's to come. I think the saying is like the monkey mind, quiet the monkey mind and create more balance. Emperor card is being clarified by the um, 
<laughs> wheel of fortune. I'm sorry, I'm stunned because over here I was just saying the wheel of fortune, luck and right timing, right? And then the emperor card is being clarified by the wheel of fortune again. This is great. I feel like that new business, that new plan, that new side hustle, right? This is the time to keep going. This is the time to co-collaborate. This is the time to reach out to other creators. This is the time to get started, to really get started. And don't stop Scorpio, like whatever plan you have has longevity to it. It really, really does. I can't say enough about Pluto and Aquarius. All right, so Pluto goes into Aquarius on the 20th and then it's gonna go back into Capricorn, I think September 1st. Then from there, it's going to then go back into Aquarius in November, I think towards the end of November, I think November 19th. And then it'll stay there for 20 years until 2043, 19 years. So, what do we know about Capricorn season, right? We're in Capricorn season right now, depending on when you're watching this. We know that's about refinement and Capricorn is about the cash. Capricorn has good business sense, right? Capricorn takes their ideas and grounds them and grounds them and, and really goes through with it. So Aquarius is all about power to the people, all about global, big picture, right? It's about community and humanitarianism and socialism, right? And getting, um, or socializing, not socialism, <laughs> socializing. So um, I feel that this is a really good time to be able to be both very individualized and together as a community because it's a time of curiosity instead of competition. So, you know, Scorpio, your best path to success is being uniquely you, whatever that looks like. Like this is your year to get weird as hell, <laughs> right? Get weird, monetize off your weirdness, monetize off your spirituality, work with other people because your gifts are really what's going to propel you forward in relationship as well. Because Spirit's asking me to, to go back to the relationship. This it, Your relationships are about luck and right timing as well. The luck... Wow, Scorpio, the lover's card is clarifying the two of cups. So I'm, I will say this to you, Scorpio. Love is available to you, but there is a choice here to be made. Because let's go back to the very first card that we pulled from this deck. Overflow, overwhelm and plenty. You will have plenty of inspiration, plenty of desire, plenty of options in love truly and so i just want to say this to you as you are building your empire as you're working out this energy over here of being in the right place at the right time as you get your inheritance as you get your settlements right because these things are coming to a head as this happens for you you have to make decisions to keep yourself in balance so are you going to focus on the love life or are you going to focus on your business? Are you going to find a balance between the two? How do you choose to have relationships show up for you in your life? The soulmate energy is available to you. And then this is about a decision about how you're going to show up in your life with love. Are you going to show up as, you know, um, well, let me, let me just look at this a little bit more because again, the, the, I mean, I'm just fascinated that one clarified the other. I don't know, Scorpio, I want you to comment below and let me know how it's going for you. Because what your soulmate is going to meet you where you are, right? They're going to support you. They're going to lift you up in times of turmoil, in times of peace. Like a true partner really is somebody who appreciates you and wants you to succeed. And in turn, that's what you want for your other person. And you compliment each other and you're honest with each other. And in times when things are difficult, you're honest about that as well. You're not going to hold back your feelings, but you're also going to be more communicative. I feel that this is a choice. Are you cutting the person off or are you allowing for discussion? Are you going to lean into the idea that you are worthy of relationship or are you going to continue to shy away and just focus on your business, right? 
I feel, Scorpio, that this theme will keep coming up for you until you allow yourself to, to love and to be loved. So there is some truth here, though, to handling your relationships much differently this year than you had in the past. As I say that, I'm looking at the hanged one, which is all about new perspectives. Sorry, Scorpio, I feel like this, this, this reading is going a little bit all over the place, but that's how they're giving it to me. So with the hanged one being clarified by temperance, I love temperance. Temperance is alchemizing, right? It's magic. It's when you take a situation and you look at it and what's the best thing you can do with it, right? This angelic divine energy. Why is it showing up in your reading? What is this telling you, Scorpio? The hanged one. Look, being in a difficult situation, but being able to look at it from a place of ease, being able to see the beauty in the work of it all, right? And I know that's really hard, but Scorpios are masters at it. We can, we can always be in the thick of it and say, all right, what am I doing here? Like, why is my simulation all messed up with all of these negative experiences? Because it's a perception. So the minute you start to say, why is this happening for me instead of why is this happening to me, it's an immediate perspective shift, right? So if you've had a hard time at work, if you've had a hard time in relationship with yourself or with others, what is the universe trying to point out to you? What lessons are there to be learned? How can you turn that frown upside down Scorpio, right? How can you turn that experience of yesterday into tomorrow's medicine? What can you do to gain momentum from what has kept you in the past stuck, blocked, right? Turn it into your favor. You have control over your script. You have control over your life. And this is a year of healing and truly about relationships. If you've been following me for some time, you know, starting, I think it was like in August, Leo season actually, um, in 2023, we talked a lot about reclaiming your sexual power, reclaiming your drive, reclaiming your desire. And it was about a lot more than sex, right? It was about inspiration. It was about the wands energy, for lack of better words, right? That creativity, that desire, that passion. Where does that come from? Your root chakra. What are you trying to birth? Your new reality, your new script. And how do you get there? Intention, will, focus, desire, right? You have to keep going. Consistency is the key to your success. So I want you to take a different approach this year, Scorpio, when it comes to yourself and your betterment and the relationships that you choose to have in your life. Stop asking yourself if you're good enough for somebody and start asking yourself, are they even good enough to be around you, right? Switch the thinking and know your worth. You are attracting all of the things at this moment, to be honest, I go back to overwhelm and plenty. There's so much going here for you, Scorpio, that it is going to feel like you have to maybe scale back a little bit. So that's what I'm saying. That period of refinement is available to you. I've got the seven of wands and the page of cups. I feel really strongly that someone's going to come towards you with maybe an apology, maybe, um, a strong offer of, I don't even want to say a strong offer of love. This looks to me more like an apology or a conversation again. Um, like someone's having some feelings towards you. Um, this comes through as an apology because the seven of wands, I feel that you're very guarded. So something may have happened last week that puts you on edge. And this is the week of resolution, potentially. Nine of Cups, I feel that you're very much okay whether or not this conversation takes place. However, we go back to this is the year of redoing or redefining your relationships and how you approach people. I can't say enough Scorpio, we're used to each other. We two Scorpios can be in a room and it sounds like we're cutting each other apart, but we're really just having a conversation that's honest and we're good with it. But the rest of the collective isn't quite like that. They can't quite hang with us, right? So I would say this is a good time to take action and do things differently. Um, whatever you decide to focus on, Scorpio, this year, 
is going to happen for you. So it's really just a matter of putting your energy where it is that you want to manifest your reality. So I just kind of want to recap some of this and make sense of it because there were a few messages in here before I clarify a few other things that are going on. So we had the message for those of you that are in a situation legally. <clears throat> you can expect that if you were waiting for a court case or something like that, arbitration is going to be instead what happens. Um, and it may not be that it's your entire case, but there's a portion of it that can be arbitrated much sooner than the final resolution. I will say that, okay? Um, also, I wanted to say that if those of you that are in a new relationship or a new partnership, work, whatever that case may be, if there were some tension, if there was tension, it may look like resolution through human resources or a conversation um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a face-to-face -face conversation is how it's coming through. Um, there are some choices to be made as you redefine your relationship, whether that be work, romantic, or within your household, right? Some of you may be having to lay down the law with your kids and say, hey, you got to do this and you have to do that. And my expectations in this house are X, Y, Z. You have to be very clear also, Scorpio, what it is that you want. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. And then you really have no one to blame but yourself. Because like I said, I see there's some hesitation here with speaking your full truth because you're looking to approach people with less of a sting, with less of the Scorpio sting. However, um, the conversations need to be had. The boundaries need to be set. And that's going to place you in a position of power because you're going to feel very um again empowered that you've spoken your truth in a way that can be received by the other person and that's the thing too scorpio um i just want to say that spirits bringing that through the points that scorpio makes are valid oftentimes very valid we usually have a very deep perspective on most situations and our perspectives can look at both sides as well, right? And for those of you that have Libra in your chart, I do, you know, it even heightens that where you try to be very fair in your responses. But I will say, Scorpio, that this time, um, it's going to be great for you to hear someone out, but there needs to be a lot of work done for um, these relationships to come back in balance. <clears throat> I feel that whatever happened recently, Scorpio, was really no fault of your own it's almost like you were in you had that tower moment and i think that you know again if you've been following me for some time you saw that the last two readings for january um as we were entering january and the first i think two weeks in january there was tower moment after tower moment and i kept saying listen whatever it is that's about to happen is happening to bring about a conversation like there's change needed in a partnership and so I feel that this is the week where you're going to resolve or discuss the meaning, the purpose of these tower moments, and you're going to take action to move this relationship ahead or to move the work relationship ahead. So let's get some clarity on that real quick, please. I'm going to go over here. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Spirit, tell me more about the partnership. I've got Ace of Wands, Desire. The shadow side, which is the devil energy being stuck in your head. Potentially, this could be depression. This could be upset, worry, anxiety, vices. So be mindful if you are overdoing it or if you feel that your partner's overdoing it. Check in on the people in your household. Make sure everybody's okay. This is a tough time of reflection. Okay, Scorpio? So you could be finding... Wow, Scorpio, two of cups comes out. Is this temperance again? With temperance. Wow. Give me one second. Temperance is Sagittarius energy as well. So hold on. I will put this here and the queen of cups comes up as well. Scorpio, in terms of your partnerships, I feel that there's a lot of desire there, but you or your partner, it could be either of you, really stuck in your head. Oh, and the high priestess, bottom of the deck. I'm going to take it. So, and seven of cups, I'll take it. 
So for clarifying purposes here, I'm asking about this relationship and the soulmate energy. And I'm asking about the, the disruption in this partnership. And it's coming across that your partner really does see you with a lot of desire, a lot of intention, but they're going through something. Like there's something stopping them. Or again, it could be you that's dealing with like the past hurts or memories or feeling like guilt. Something has happened, Scorpio, in this last week that really did some kind of perceived damage to a partnership. But when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing that there's healing to be had and there's a nurturing perspective that can be taken, but you've got to follow your instincts, right? You really have to know, like, is this person, because that's, that's what I hear. Is this person lying to me or is this person turning a new leaf? Am I perceiving it differently or is there hope to be had here? The high priestess asks you not only to follow your instincts, but to be adaptable and to really look and see, is there another path? Is there another way to look at this? And with the hanged one coming up and the high priestess, I feel that the disruption was necessary because I have the seven of cups. Maybe there's more than one way to handle this um, relationship. And there are more than one ways Mm, there's more than Scorpio. What I'm trying to tell you, Scorpio, is that you've got a lot. <laughs> you have a lot of options ahead of you. And you have to make a conscious decision as we saw the lover's card clarifying the two of cups here. And then we've got the two of cups. We've got the two of cups, devil energy, which in this deck is the, the shadow side and the ace of wands. This could be that there's a very strong sexual connection in this partnership. And so there has to be a decision made about where this partnership goes next, right? Do you deepen it? Is this a connection that goes beyond the physical? What's holding this back? Can those... Can those um, issues come to light and be resolved? And once they do come to light, what decision are you going to make, Scorpio? Are you ready to heal yourself and heal this relationship and move forward? Because you do have a lot of options and you've got to follow your gut. And I feel strongly, Scorpio, that with the Two of Cups showing up in this reading twice, the Lover's card showing up, Temperance card showing up twice, I feel that there's a really strong path for healing and love and relationship ahead for you. It's going to look rocky at first and it might need a lot of revision, but I feel that with the luck and right timing, the universe is on your side and this is going to go well. So I'm going to pull a shadow card for you, Scorpio, and then we're going to pull an empath card. Here we go. What is this read? Asking and telling number 21, reducing to the number three. When I see asking and telling, I feel that as this shows up with this reading, when we're talking about partnerships and we're talking about a new way to approach difficult situations and we're discussing partnerships at home, partnerships at work and romantic partnerships, I feel Scorpio that maybe this week's message really stands with ask more questions about where your partner is coming from. Ask more questions about their perspective versus in the past, we can have a very sharp tongue because we're very intuitive. And oftentimes when we're in a disruptive conversation, we do have the tendency to tell people what happened and to tell them their perspective and to tell them that they're wrong or that they're lying intuition of a certain degree can do that to a person. So I would say temper it, pull it back, ask more questions, find out what this person is having such a difficult time or what you are having such a difficult time processing and allow there to be space for vulnerability, allow there to be space for hope, allow there to be space for rest 
and to put down these dramas, these heavy burdens, right? There's something that has occurred in your relationship, but healing is available to you. Things may look different than they did when you first entered it, but that's the point of this year. Refinement and resolution. So I'm going to look at your empath cards. And also, guys, don't forget, if you're looking to book a personal reading, you can do so at my website, starswithstassi.com. And if you are with um, the Starsea community members only, just a quick note, or if you'd like to be, we will be doing a book club. And this month, we're going to be reading, and probably through March, this book, which is The Everyday Empath by Raven Digitalis. It's a really great book. And I'm asking that the members of the Starsea community, we're going to heal ourselves up, tighten up our energy fields before we dig into our esoteric studies for the rest of the year. So there is a recommended reading list on the Starsea website. Sorry, Scorpio, there's something flying around. And there's also um, a link to that book and the membership and all of that in the description box below. So as we close this out, Scorpio, listen to the wisdom of your intuition. So let's go back to the high priestess. Listen to the wisdom of your intuition. Your inner voice is your best friend and will never, I'm sorry, your inner voice is the best friend you will ever have. Seek answers from deep within rather than just through intellect. That's a beautiful message, Scorpio, because I feel like, where did I put that card? So right here, we just went from asking and telling where I said we need to ask more versus telling. And this says, seek answers from deep within rather than just through intellect. I love that, Scorpio. Like, listen to the wisdom of your intuition. Ask clarifying questions. Hold space for others and for yourself. Because like I always say, Scorpio, we're just stars from the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can. So we need to learn to be kinder to ourselves and to each other. And if you share only your truth, you will heal worlds with your world, with your words, Scorpio. All right. And until next time, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. I'm wishing you the best week, Scorpio. I love you. So please don't forget, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment below. Join our members only. Let's get into this healing together. I'm so grateful and I will see you on Saturday for Stars with Stasi live stream where we will be going over the energies of the full moon in Leo before I open it up. There's something flying before I open it up to ask me anything where you can ask any question and I will do my very best to answer you. All right, guys, have a great week ahead and until next time, shine brightly.